think I've been coming out here for 11 years. 97 was when I did the biological inventory for the conservation easement. So this easement's been in place a decade, a little more, and um, it was originally put in place, uh, I think it was initiated by the landowners themselves, and they, start, they just started drawing up all the easement and then presented it basically to the Land Conservancy as a pretty much done deal. Um, it's a nice piece of um, urban green space along Muddy Creek. We have a couple other projects further downstream from this, and at some point or another, the county is talking about having a um, greenway that runs along part of Muddy Creek. So I think there's 56 acres of bottomland, wetland meadow, riparian corridor, and then a chunk of upland forest. Um, the community members, I think there's five families that are part of this conservation easement. And um, they've actually carved out where their home sites are, so we don't have to worry about doing any stewardship activities in and around the homes. So we pretty much have a pretty irregular shaped polygon, and I have to use the GPS unit to tell what parts of the land are in the easement and what parts aren't, because sometimes there's narrow corridors connecting two conserved parcels with just a, uh, a little corridor in between. And what's the specific objective of this Camerill Farm visit? Uh, this visit is to actually do the annual site, site stewardship visit. So what we do is, we, or what I do, is look at the conservation easement and for every property that we have and find out what it is they're allowed to be doing and not allowed to be doing based on their easement. And then I am supposed to be going out here and looking to see that the easement uh, restrictions are being complied with. And the easement starts in that direction up at the road? The easement basically, we're standing on it, it starts where this line intersects the road. There's another sediment basin that was in, intact as a little pond on the other side of those trees, between the trees and the road. And then the easement comes along here and then down to uh, Muddy Creek. And this is Muddy Creek, this corridor here. And then there's a gas line, that's what that yellow flag is, there's actually a gas line easement that runs along Muddy Creek, but, uh, and, and the sewer line, I think, yeah, certainly a sewer line. Every urban creek in Forsyth County has got a sewer line on it, so, so this one's got a sewer line, and then you can see the sewer line um, standpipes at, at above the flood level. They used to have horses here, and I don't think currently they have anybody that has horses, but that's what they used to use all this property for, is to mow for hay. And this is called Mill Creek, one of the uh, this many. This is Muddy Creek. Oh, Muddy, Muddy Creek. Creek. Mm -hmm. This is this was the uh, edge of the Moravian settlement. So everything on that side of the creek was the old Wachovia tract, and everything on this side of the creek was the non-Moravian portion of the county. So. And Muddy Creek goes all the way to the southwest. Well, it heads. It, it runs north and south. Through Forsyth County, it runs into South Muddy Creek at the Forsyth County, almost at the Forsyth County southern border, and then it, then it turns dr west because South Muddy Creek is going flowing west, and then it flows into the Yadkin. So, and this really looks like a pretty good stream bank, doesn't it? Yeah, this is not too bad. Uh, considering it's as urban as it is, uh, it's deeper than it ought to be. And it probably doesn't have as much access to the, as much floodplain as it used to, which is why it's banging around side to side. But it's it's an okay little wildlife corridor. Um, and as the floods do happen, the, the heavy rains, the oxbow will just get larger and larger. Right. And eventually it'll build itself a new floodplain at the new elevation, which is the top of that sandbar. The dark green sedges and the wavy tall manna grass, which is a different kind of grass, growing in that little wetland. The little wetland actually goes back into that woods. So there's a nice little, if you look on the USGS topo maps, this entire field in front of us and around the corner all was at one time wetland vegetation back prior to when I did the maps in the aerial surface. So this is part of Muddy Creek floodplain then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of native stuff and invasives because it's been in people's backyards for 150 years. So there's lots of escape things in the 
all of the landowners up there have really nice landscaping and they bring in a lot of plants and their landscapers throw a lot of stuff over the side and so we wind up with things growing in the woods. So. But mugwort is, and those sorts of things are just so common today they're almost like natives. Right. Well, they're, they're yeah, they're, they're what, what is now called naturalized. Same thing with uh, the Lespedeses. All the Lespedeses, I mean, you can hardly find any place on North, in North Carolina that doesn't have the shrubby Lespedeses, or not the, not the, the herbaceous Lespedeses from Europe and Asia. So, I mean, they were just commonly used as roadside plantings, and the birds eat the seeds and distribute them everywhere. And, uh, and you mentioned the cane break that's over behind you. Uh -huh. That's the native Arundin area, which is the native river cane, which would have been on every part of the floodplain um, in the past. It actually does a really great job of holding the banks. So it's, it's the native bamboo. That's as tall as it ever gets and as big as it ever gets. It was used a lot by Indians, Native Americans to do, um, make bow and arrow arrow shafts with and lots of other handicrafts. So it's a pretty neat plant. Um, and I like seeing it wherever I see it along the banks because it holds the banks really nice. So this is Muddy Creek. This is now the uh, western edge of the easement. That's other property across the creek. So this is the back corner of the Camarillo Farms uh, easement. And that's the sewer line. That's the artificial riffle there. They actually have the sewer line pipe is just under the surface of the creek and they armored it with riprap, so that's what makes that ripple. And uh, the, the creek is actually coming south and does a 90 degree turn here and then does another 90 degree within like 100 yards. So, How likely is it that there are fish or other aquatic animals? There are fish in, in Muddy and uh, there have historically been bog turtles in the Muddy Creek Corridor, although we haven't found any recent sites because all of the wetlands have been adversely impacted. Um, but yeah, there's, there's fish. I haven't done any fish sampling in here, but there's a lot of uh, urban pollution tolerant fish species that probably are in here. I'd say maybe five or six natives could be in here. Um, we used to find what we called suckers or round yeah. fish in a creek White like suckers this. White suckers probably in here. Blue nose chub probably in here. Some daces are probably in here. They're all pretty durable and widespread. Um, maybe some sunfish. There's a lot of small farm ponds that are all just part of the muddy creek system. And when they overflow, the little bass and bluegill fingerlings get swept into here. So I, if you sampled a big pond, pool, you probably would find all the stuff that you find that people are stocking in neighborhood lakes that just went over the spillway during a high flood. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's not bluegills and red ears and largemouth bass and other things that normally wouldn't be creek dwellers, but because there's a dozen lakes in the neighborhood here that all, when they overflow in the rain, the little fish get swept out. Well, it looks great. Um, the, everything is unchanged since last time. The, uh, the fields and pastures and the forest all looks good. I don't see any signs of encroachment. Um, I think this is a, such a long established neighborhood that and they're bounded on two sides by Muddy Creek. They really don't have any encroachment problems or anything. So. The easement looks great, so I think it's done for another year.